This short movie gives an overview of how the PDM Integrator extends the use of CoCreate's Model Manager through the lifecycle management of native Pro Engineer models and drawings. A new menu option called PDM Integrator is added to Pro Engineer, providing the interface between the CAD environment and Model Manager. In addition, a new toolbar provides access to commonly used commands. Here we have a new model ready to be stored to Model Manager. The object in session is stored either from the PDM Integrator menu or from the toolbar using the Save command. The Save dialog opens, allowing us to name the object and fill in additional attribute information. In this case, the model is already named. However, Model Manager's rolling number generator could be used. We complete the model information by adding a description. By default, a new master data record is created. However, we do have the option to attach the model to an existing master data record. In this case, we create a new record and populate some of the part attributes. A Save Progress dialog confirms that the model has been successfully saved. Once an object has been stored, we can check the Model Manager properties of the item from the Properties command in the PDM Integrator menu, or from the DB Details button on the toolbar. From the Properties window, we can edit the model properties, look where the part is used, view change notes, etc. In this instance, opening the Master Data tab, we edit one of the part properties. To continue working on a part from the database, we use the Search and Open command. The easiest way to find objects we're currently working on is from the Recent Items list. Here we see the part record and model created in the previous session. Note the model icon indicates that this is a Pro Engineer part, differentiating it from models from other supported modeling applications. Notice also that a thumbnail preview is captured which can be useful for users without access to the CAD application. We can also use Model Manager's powerful search tools to find other models stored to the database. Pro Engineer models are stored under the Models class. In this case, we search for models beginning PDMI-20. Any searches run in this way can be saved to help us quickly find objects that relate to the work we're doing. To load the object into session, simply double-click or right-click and select Load. The load window opens, allowing us to preview what is being loaded and also allowing us to set some load rules. We will return to this later in the movie. With the part loaded in session, we continue to develop the model and store the updates back to the database. In this case, the database record is updated without the properties window opening. To understand how the PDM Integrator manages assemblies, we will create a new assembly using the bearing housing as the base part. To add the bearing housing, we use the Pro Engineer Component Operations command. The PDM command option opens Model Manager, allowing us to find our component and load it into the assembly. This operation can be simplified using map keys to define the insert component command, used here to add a bearing to the housing. We now used a saved search to pull up our list of bearings. Notice that this bearing is a family table instance, linked to the family table generic PDMI 2051. We constrain the bearing in the assembly and then add our final component, a shaft.
We will now take a look at some of the load rules available to us. The default rule here is to load the highest revision. We can override this by selecting a specific revision from the list of revisions available. When loading an assembly it can be useful to change the default rule to either load the assembly as stored or with the highest released revisions. With the assembly complete we store back to Model Manager in the same way as we did with the original model using the save command. This time we add a description and complete the save. Notice that the PDM integrator only saves objects that have been modified, in this case only the assembly itself, not the components added to the assembly. We now complete the design by creating an assembly drawing. With the drawing complete, we again save to Model Manager using the same save command. A drawing description is added. Notice that by default the drawing is related to the existing assembly master data record. The drawing title block is configured to be populated from the model manager part and drawing attributes. A drawing PDF is automatically created and attached to the master data record. If we open Model Manager we can see how the drawing PDF can be viewed. With the design complete we change its state from work to released using standard Model Manager commands and adhering to permissions set by the access control rules. At a later time a design change is required and two mounting holes are added to the bearing housing. As the assembly is released the bearing housing and the assembly itself need to be up issued and change notes added. At this point the bearing housing has already been up issued leaving us to up issue the assembly drawing. From the PDM integrator menu we select save new issue. Change notes are added and the assembly drawing is up issued from issue or revision 1 to 2. Notice that the revision history on the drawing title block is automatically updated. By opening the properties of the drawing, we can check that the assembly is correctly stored by viewing the Structure tab. And from Model Manager we can also see the impact of the changes with the old document revisions in the History folder and the latest revisions at a work state awaiting approval. This concludes the demonstration of the PDM Integrator for Pro Engineer. The PDM Integrator includes a license for PDM AnyDocs, again extending the use of Model Manager to lifecycle manage supporting documentation, including emails. To find out more, please view the associated overview movie. If you have any questions about the PDM Integrator, please visit our website at www.csi-europe.com for contact details or send an email to info at csi-europe.com and a member of the CSI team will contact you to answer any questions.